the last video, we talked about how this radiator didn't fit correctly with the new pulley setup. Um, it's still really close to the uh, water pump pulley. And we want to try and retain the radiator and the fan shroud that we made a few years back. The reason why we want to try to retain this radiator is it is a brass radiator. So these are really good radiators. They work very well and uh, they're hard to come by. And by that, I mean, you can't buy them new. Um, at least I don't know where to buy them new. So we want to try to keep this and if we can, perfect. So the big thing that we want to do, we talked about last time, I want to try and get this off because we think it's brazed or soldered or whatever it is. I don't know what the term is, but this is steel, it's magnetic. This is obviously brass, it's not magnetic. So it's adhered some way and it couldn't be welded. So I'm gonna use the torch and we're gonna see if we can separate it. And if we can, then that's great because then I could modify these ends and then we can just braze them back on. There might be some under here. Got it. <laughs> that was awesome. This is the bottom of it. This is the top of it. So it actually tilts the radiator towards the engine. So what I'm going to do is mark it on the bottom of these holes, because these holes are really only there for the uh, solder or lead, whatever was used here, uh, to hold this piece on once it's brazed. So I'm gonna cut underneath them so we still have the hole. And then I'm actually gonna cut really close to this edge down here. So we're going to gain that, which is about an inch and a quarter. And once that's all cut, I'm gonna tack it together we're going to mock it up, put the fans on it, and test fit. See if we're happy with how it fits, see if we're happy with the room we get, and go from there. It might be sweet and simple, it might not. We'll find out. Well, I'm going to say that it's not enough because the mounts in the fan are just by themselves and it's still not. My only guess here is that I'm going to re-drill the holes to move the whole radiator down and we still might have to do something about it coming this way a little bit. I'm gonna leave the radiator where it sits, but what I'm going to do is we're going to modify, well modify, remake the shroud for the fans. So what we're going to do is I'm going to now space the fans far enough apart to allow the water pump pulley to sit in between the two fans.
have our new shroud made. It looks a little wide, but that's because it's also meant for the, uh, the pieces that we have off the side, brackets, whatever you want to call them. So this is essentially where the water pump is going to sit now. It is slightly bigger than it. It's still going to be close, but that's what we wanted. Um, if you can see the difference here, that's the distance that we had in between the fans before. And now we have a much bigger distance. So I'm just gonna make sure it's stuck and it actually is part of the radiator. Yeah. So I'm gonna do the other side. Don't, don't. <laughs> I told you it's ugly. All right, hopefully this fits. And by that I mean the holes I drilled. One hole lines up, that's a good sign. Final test fit before we say it's done. Oh, I hate how heavy this is. We have room. It's always good to have more than you need. Um, I already marked it, so I'm gonna pull the radiator out. And then since that's marked and I know it's going to be along this top part of the uh, end tank, we'll be able to drill the holes for mounting it. And then, the radiator is complete. <laughs> 